Hi and welcome to my video uh, again with the Galaxy Note here. This is not only applicable to the Galaxy Note but to uh, most Android phones that you use. So uh, I'm just going to give you a rundown of my favorite apps. I'm not, not going to limit it to say 5 or 10. I'm just going to give you a list of apps that I actually really like and that works well for me. So as you can see um, this is a Samsung Galaxy Note you can see the Samsung logo over there but this is the Sense lock screen the Sense 3.0 lock screen and it's fully functional see so I'm just gonna show you how I got that done and let's start it from, start from there so the first uh, first program in app on this list that I'm gonna talk about is called widget locker so this is widget locker and this is the tool mode of the widget locker over here you can do anything you know play around with say you can move this up you can move this down you can delete this delete this and if you want to add any widgets to it uh, you can still do that see for example I want to add a widget to the screen I want to add a, what do you say I want to add a weather widget to the screen so here it is and now I'm just locking the phone unlocking it and see I've got a weather widget here but all interactions will be disabled by default you can enable it if you want so <coughs> excuse me this is basically a very customizable uh, <coughs> lock screen for your phone and it's pretty decent uh, it's really good actually better than decent so once you go into the settings options you know you've got a lot of options over here you know buttons and inputs look and feel you can see this see it yourself a lot of options and the th important thing is if you're rooted it's good you get some extra options you know in case you're rooted see root helper home helper and so on but even if you're not rooted it's still gonna work so you don't need to root your phone just to get a fancy sense 3.0 lock screen so that's one good thing about this but again I'm gonna be totally honest with you the one negative that I found with this is you know you pull up you go into phone you know and now you press back you're back at the lock screen you don't come to the home screen but that's not a big gripe here because from from phone you click on home screen you're back at home screen so uh, it's just something you get used to over time so the first app on the list is widget locker and I've just shown you uh, roughly how it works it's available on the Android market and I will be adding a command I mean uh, what do you say a speech pop up to, on this video right now to show you how much it costs so the next app that I'm gonna go into over here it's actually a launcher launchers are the default re are the replacements they are the ones who replace your home screen so you see my home screen actually looks like this right now you know with fancy transitions the way the icons move in between and stuff uh, and you know you've got I've got all the uh, what do you say I've got the see I've got the uh, ice cream sandwich uh, search bar I've got the ice cream sandwich icons it, so I mean uh, this is a different launcher that I'm using the default home launcher kinda looks like this let me just switch to that for a minute okay this is how your default home launcher looks see there are no fancy transitions you just slide between everything so that's the default home launcher and this is what I'm using okay let me just kill that right now and get back to this so again uh, this app is called I mean this is called uh, go launcher X it's available for free from the Android market you just need to download go launcher X and install the app and once you're done uh, once you're done installing it you're gonna get once you're done installing it and you press your home button you're gonna get something like this okay where you asked you know whether you wanna go back to go launcher access home or TW launcher TW launcher stands for touch with launcher that's the default launcher launchers like your desktop so touch with I'm sorry excuse me touch with launcher is like the default uh, desktop that comes with the Samsung Galaxy Note so we are gonna use go launcher X so you're gonna set it as default and click go launcher X so going forward no matter where you are you hit the home screen you come back to the go launcher X home screen so now how do you use go launcher X so let me get into that right now so what you need to do is from the home screen you hit the menu button 
you hit on themes so under themes you've got a few uh, preloaded themes that come with the phone and there are other themes available okay and you can get these themes either from the go store or the google market uh, see uh, you go to the google market the android market yep and type in uh, themes go launcher see comes up and you've got all these themes for the go launcher so say for example I okay let me just show you how it's actually done so see I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to install the Windows 7 go launcher X theme right now okay so you just click on that and you, there's a decent preview here of you know how your phone is gonna look once this is done so I'm not a big fan of this theme but you know just to show you how it works I'm gonna get this done right now so all you do over here is hit install accept and download once again go launcher X is free you get you've got comparable other launchers like launcher pro or AW, ADW launcher but uh, my gripe with both these launchers is that they have a paid version as well which gives you the higher level of functionality so I would always you know go with the uh, go launcher X cause it's free uh, go launcher X does charge you for a few themes but then again I guess you know if you're over here you're using an Android phone you definitely know how to Google and you're gonna find the theme the APK files online and download it so I don't condone privacy I mean piracy oops I don't condone piracy but you gotta do what you gotta do okay so uh, here we go uh, from the home screen just tap on menu hit themes and just keep going and you will see whatever you've downloaded over here say Windows 7 okay I really don't want to do that so I'm gonna go with you know say a black I mean a black okay it's okay fan you know what let me just get back to Windows 7 okay and you just you see the apply button over here you just hit apply and that's it it's transformed it's, and there are times when you know the buttons below some of them might not actually change on their own and then you don't have to worry about it you just need to click hold I mean touch and hold hit replace go to themes icons and you see a messaging icon see these are the selected themes available whatever you have installed and whatever theme you've already installed that's gonna show up as the current theme so you just need to scroll around see which icon suits you the most click on it and that, that has changed so again for the camera right now so camera icon what do you have okay see that's the camera icon I've got that as well now I am guessing they're gonna give us an internet explorer icon I hate internet explorer but still see I told you internet explorer so as you can see you know we've changed all the icons that we want and we've got a different look and feel to our phone and the best part is you can keep changing it around a lot there are a lot of things that you can change uh, so another important thing with the go launcher X is that it gives you an op it gives you an option of setting up gestures you know as in see right now uh, this is the camera button okay but if you can see I don't have a gallery shortcut listed anywhere under my shortcuts so uh, how I have it configured is that you know I hit the camera button I go into cameras okay hey that's me at the same time I just click on the camera and I swipe up I go into the gallery button I mean the gallery same way you know I, I hit on the message I go into my default messages I swipe up I go into Go SMS Pro. Go SMS Pro is a replacement uh, SMS app. It is a part of the Go, uh, what do you say, the Go series. Uh, you know, Go Widgets, Go Launcher, Go uh, SMS Pro. There's also a Go Dialer, which again I have. See, I swipe up, I go into Go Dialer X. And if I just hit on the dialer normally, I go into the default dialer. So these can be set you know you just go have to click on menu go into settings I'm sorry hit on menu go into preferences 
and you just need to play around with all these settings over here say for example go into visual settings uh, you know you can set the wallpaper you know change the icons you know uh, you know play around with the icons you know if they're big I'll set a custom size if you want and all that and the backgrounds again um, indicators as in what color it changes when you hit something I guess I'm not sure I'm sorry indicators as in when you switch between home screens you know on top you see a little you see these indicators over there you know over here this ones these ones yeah so those are the indicators something like that and the font as, uh, as you know screen settings gets you into you know uh, the grid size say for example if I wanted to do it I can have 10 into 10 icons per page and it's gonna look you know crammed up like this okay it's just that it's good to know that you have an option to do it if you want to um, screen settings I leave the grid size at 5 into 5 because that's the default whatever has been given for the phone and I prefer that and you can also you also have an option whether you wanna you know hide the status bar up on top you know or not so there are a lot of options over here the app drawer settings you know lets you choose a lot of options again the operation settings you know whether you want the screen to automatically rotate and again apart from the gliding up ac actions over here you know the glide ups uh, or tap the icon you know apart from those gestures you still have a few gestures again uh, with the operation settings so for example I like using an application a lot say for example I like playing this game Air Penguin, Penguin a lot so I can set it up as a uh, as a shortcut in this way so that every time I glide up with my finger it launches a Air, Pen Air Penguin see so uh, all I need to do is no matter which screen I am on I just slide my finger up and the game is launched so I'll just go ahead and change that back again just a minute so disable so that's another feature that we have um, okay now I'm sorry just my phone just slipped okay uh, another thing that you would all be you know pretty interested in as you can see the transitions you know the 3d cube right now so how do you change that you just again from anywhere any of the home screens hit on menu click effects home screen transition uh, yeah you should be able to see that and you can just change it to anything you want uh, you know you set it as bounds it's gonna be this way and uh, you set it on to say bulldoze it's gonna be like this or you want something like say the windmill and it's gonna go this way so my favorite is always this one Uh, flip with the wallpaper so what this does is it actually flips the whole screen around with the wallpaper behind and I will I will teach you an you know a very good trick when it comes to this uh, just give me a minute okay so uh, this is what I've done with the wallpaper here but uh, see you just you know move around and you kinda you know the wallpaper changes the wallpaper flips over along with the icons on screen and it changes so this is a pretty decent effect I like it a lot and uh, I'm sorry uh, we're running out of time so uh, I just I'm just gonna finish off this video with one thing which I've not yet shown you so I told you you know how to set up you know say the camera and you know swiping over to open up the gallery so how you actually set that up is click and hold on the icon you get an option called gesture click on gesture select an application and select what application you want to launch so every time you swipe up from that icon 
that uh, relevant application gets launched. So these are basic you know tips that I like using for the phone. I mean, you're using from a Galaxy Note and. Uh, uh, in the next part of this video, I'll talk about a few more applications that I really like and that have been useful for me daily, uh, in my day-to-day -day usage of this phone. So this is it for now. This is me, Ashwin, signing off. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day ahead. And if you're watching it before January 2012, wish you a happy new year. Bye-bye.